Hola, reinas. Hola, reis. <clears throat> I'm going to start momentarily. Um, today we are Thursday, January 21st. I'm sorry that I didn't log on yesterday. I have uh, been busy. I have been really busy. God is good. I have no complaints. I'm sorry that I didn't um, log on yesterday. Uh, so I'll go over a little bit of yesterday's and then we'll go to for today. So yesterday was, uh, let me open in prayer before I get ahead of myself. Father, in the name of Jesus, we honor you. We thank you for air in our lungs. We thank you for air. Uh, we, are, we thank you for life, Lord. I pray that I as may, high queen, uh, die um, to the flesh to speak through the power of the Holy Spirit invested into me. I pray that we leave forever transformed from your word, from this video. I pray for wisdom, revelation, clarity, insight beyond our years of age. Uh, much, much revelation and prophetic word in the, and much protection. Uh, prosperity and peace be beyond our uh, that surpasses all our understanding in the mighty name of Jesus we pray amen I'm gonna go over real quick yesterday which um no you know what let me leave yesterday in yesterday we didn't go over it so it's fine we're gonna go with today <laughs> thank you Holy Spirit so today is Thursday January 21st and we're going through scripture God is your refuge and his everlasting arms are under you amen hi King hi my love um today God is with you Consider these timeless words by Margaret Fishback Powers. One night I dreamed I was walking along the beach with my Lord. Across the dark sky flashed scenes from my life. For each scene, I noticed two sets of footprints in the sand, one belonging to me and one to my Lord. When the last scene of my life shot before me, I looked back at the footprints in the sand. There was only one set. I realized that, I realized that this was one, one at the lowest times of my life. This always bothered me, and I questioned the Lord about my dilemma. Lord, you have told me when I decided to follow you, you would walk with me all the way. But I'm aware that during the most troublesome times of my life, there is only one set of footprints. I just don't understand why. When I need you the most, you leave me. He whispered, my precious, ch my precious child, I love you and will never leave you. Never ever during the trials and testings. When you saw only one set of footprints, it was then that I carried you. And if you need more reassurance, read these two scriptures. The Lord, he at that that goeth before me, before thee, he will be with thee. He will not fail thee, neither forsake thee. Fear not, Deuteronomy 31, 8. For he has said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee, so that we may boldly say the Lord is my helper and I will not fear what man shall do unto me. Hebrews 13, 5, 6. The word for you today is God is with you. Amen. Um, I will tell you that I have mentioned many, many times that when we don't feel God, he is there the most. Um, I will tell you as I look back in my phone, I look at pictures and I look at, you know, things that have been going on in the past couple of uh, months. You know, some days, you know, they're just flying by. But as I look back on like a lot of these pictures, I can see and I remember that there was times where I was like at my lowest, but then I would feel that I was at my closest with God because I wouldn't feel him there. Excuse me. However, having peace in every situation to me is peace is, is God. Peace is God. Love is God. Many times we can get confused with love because some people's love hurts. Some people's idea of love is not what our idea of love is, as I mentioned in another video. And for some reason, um, yesterday's word was very, very important. And right now that I was like skidding by it, I'm going to go over that right quick, um, which was yesterday. But it was reading from e e e e e e e e Ecclesiastics 20, 2, 18, 19. Um, and this was yesterday's, which I must leave everything I have gained. Live for what matters. That was the title of yesterday's. I'm going to go over it right quick because I was going to leave it in yesterday. But however, right now, skidding through it, it's a very important word. Um, and this is from yesterday's, but I'm going to bring it in today. If you work harder, you can earn more money, but you can earn more time. Oh, Lord. To coin a popular song, time may be money, but your money won't buy time. There's a story about a guy who worked in the late shift at a factory who walked home in the wee hours. One night, he took a shortcut through the cemetery, failing to notice the new grave that had just been, un had been dug in the center of his path. He fell into it. After several unsuccessful attempts to get out, he decided to relax until morning, 
when someone is around him to help him. As he sat in the corner of the grave half asleep, a fellow traveler, traveler who had overindulged at the bar at the bar stumbled in beside him. Desperate to get out, the drunk started yelling and clawing frantically at the sides. At the point our hero reached out, touched him gently on the leg and said, it's no use friend, I've tried. You'll never get out of here. Not surprisingly, he did. He jumped out. A periodic visit to the local cemetery might help you reevaluate and reprioritize your life. It has an exclamation point. <laughs> um, for example, it might encourage you to stop and ask yourself what you're really living for. Solomon had an aha moment like that. For though I do my work with wisdom, knowledge, and skill, I must leave everything I gain to people who haven't worked for it. Paraphrased, paraphrased, a rut is simply a grave with the ends kicked out. Don't just make a living, get out of your rut and make a difference. Don't just leave an inheritance, leave a legacy that will enrich the, live, the lives of those who follow you. Wow, amen. This is so good. Um, I must leave everything I gain. I have always admired singers and rappers at times that they sing and when they pass on like yesterday me and my my king were listening to a song by Otis Redding which Kanye West and Jay-Z uh remade um about like nine years ten years ago however that song just hits hard I don't want to get off subject but what I was having revelation with that song is that Otis Redding I even asked my husband I was like man you know um you know, who gets Otis's Redding's, you know, who do they have to ask permission for to remake this song? And he was like, you know, whoever, you know, is, is left in charge or whatever. And then the royalties, whatever. However, what the, what God was showing me is that even after Otis Redding is gone, if you don't know who he is, look him up, Google him. It's a, it's, a, it's I really like that song uh, that Kanye remade with him with Jay-Z. But Otis Redding, he's gone. You know, his music is living on his legacy. And therefore, you know, his family, offspring, after that, whoever has the owns the, 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 the rights or everything to the song, you know, they had to contact them to get the rights for it. However, Otis Redding is still playing. He is gone. He's been gone. However, he's going to ever forever be remembered as his legacy, the music he made, you know. And um, I am so thankful that I get, you know, especially in this season, I have been making so many videos. I've been you know, really just letting the, the oil flood out of me that um, much of the wounds that I have have given me great wisdom. So they're just flooding out of me. However, what I realize is that, you know, whenever it is that I pass on, um, that the Lord takes me with him um, until then, like I'm going to work my tail off to allow every mistake I went through or every trial and tribulation, every glory that God has, you know, taken me out of or been with me through you know, has given me such an anointing to where I can speak and I somehow by the blood of Jesus, you know, the, the, the power of the Holy Spirit in me, you know, touches lives and leaves lives forever changed. And because of that, the Lord revealed to me is that, no, Esme, you didn't become a singer, not yet in the name of Jesus. I don't know if that's in one of my plans, but my purpose is that all these videos live on when I am gone. So my children's children's children, you know, well, here, grandma, and know that grandma lived with purpose and intention. And it's very important that wherever God has called either one of you to, to, you know, make videos, to, you know, make items, make products, make a living that is going to forever remind others of, hey, your grandma was like this or, hey, your grandpa was like this. You know, your, your, your dad lived as such a king like this. And I would tell you that no matter what happens to us in life, God uses it for good. And yesterday, the title was Live for What Matters. And I would tell you that every day, you know, I I'm, I'm I, I get exhausted at times where I'm making videos and making videos. Yesterday, I was so exhausted um, physically, spiritually, and mentally. And I didn't make a video. And um, I was just so exhausted. But I would tell you that when you need to get rest, get it. It's important, especially of other lives, you know, you're speaking into or influencing. It's important that you really get rest when you need it. But I will tell you that live for what matters. And that's making a difference in the world, bettering mankind, whether it's baking, Felicia, whether it's, um, you know, being a nurse, whether it's being a firefighter, my love, laying your life for others. You know, it's all to give God glory. It's all to better mankind. And whatever it is that you're doing with purpose, baking, cooking, teaching, um, I just pray in the name of Jesus that you're prospering, that everything that you touch has miraculous favor, 
um, to just go out there and do what God called you to do. It's going to be things that don't make sense. Your shirt is wearing an example hustle. <laughs> I'm hustling hope. That's truly like what I, I remember like I bought this shirt. I was all excited when I bought it because it was years ago. It's a little um, hoodie, but hustling hope. Like that's what I'm here for. I'm here to hustle and bring into the world that hope, that awakening, that education, everything that I have encountered or, you know, experienced that has brought me great pain. I'm going to use it for the glory of God. Because yes, right now, what I have experienced in the last couple of months, you know, most people would have taken them out. And it's been something very, very, you know, it was very heartbreaking for me. And now that I look back on it, I'm happy and I'm thankful that the Lord used me in such a way, you know, to give glory to his name because it has made me so strong. And the only reason that I have been strong is because it's my weakness. It was a weakness. The enemy wanted me to cave in and take myself out. But giving that to the Lord, God has made me so strong. And that's why I always say that the power of the Holy Spirit invested into me is the only way that I am here talking with a smile, crying with tears of joy. Because if I had to do it all over again, I would. Uh, I, I wouldn't have said this three months ago. <laughs> I wouldn't have said that. However, I'm thankful. And I want you to know that whatever it is that you're walking through right now, whatever it is, if you feel that it's so painful and it wants to take you out, Give it to God. Give it to God so he can give you his strength in your weakness. And wherever it is that we're weak, he's strong. So that means that where you're weak, give it to God. And he's going to give you his strength because it's miraculously super powered strength. And I will tell you that now that I look back, I'm like, Lord, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for what I'm walking through. Thank you for giving me this oil. You know, the, the pain is temporary. Amen. Do not make uh, permanent decisions on temporary emotions, kings and queens. Please, I rebuke it and bind it in the name of Jesus. I'm praying and I'm declaring that your, your wounds are going to have such a miraculous healing. And they're going to have a miraculous wisdom that surprises surpasses all of your understanding, surpasses all of the people that you're around understanding. Use your wounds for great wisdom. Share with others what you've been through. Talking about what you've been through, I will tell you, heals you and heals others and lets others know that, wow, you know, I'm not alone. Somebody else is encountering this difficult situation too. Wow, this person also has a hater. Wow, we all have haters. We all have enemies. But without these enemies, we would not prosper. Without these enemies, we would not step and elevate. God has to use these people that are talking bad about you. God has to use all of these things. You know, David did not, in the Bible, did not elevate without Goliath. So whoever it is in your life that is a Goliath, even though you feel at times that you want to like really do something to them, Pray and thank God for them because after you start looking back at things like your enemies and people that told me that I was never going to be able to change the world. Yeah, they told me that. And I was like, okay, watch me by the power of the Holy Spirit. Watch me. And that's what I'm telling you now. Yes, I am making change in my area. God is enlarging my territory and he's enlarging your territory. Be obedient when you don't even understand. Do the things that don't make sense because God is going to call you to do things that don't make sense. Lord Jesus, help us. And I'm praying for much peace, much prosperity, much protection that surpasses all of your understanding and your knowledge and wisdom beyond your years of age to create generational wealth, ideas and strategies beyond your years of age to create generational wealth, to break that process or system of generational cursing and generational poverty. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke and bind that prophetically sealing this word by the blood of Jesus Christ. He did not create us to live in poverty. Mm -mm. He gave you ideas and strategies and whatever it is that your purpose, your calling, and you were chosen to do, go out there and do it. If you have to work a regular paying job to support whatever it is that God called you to, because I'm telling you the things that God calls you to do, they're fun. They're fun. They're fulfilling. <laughs> they're full of you growing in your faith because the things he called us to do, they're fun. It doesn't feel like work. I would tell you doing these videos to me is like breathing air. At times I get exhausted. Yes, I do get exhausted. However, I will rest. So therefore I can be rejuvenated, refueled, waking with zeal and expectancy to God's miraculous favor. Because every day, excuse me, every day is one day that you wake to the miraculous signs and wonders of God. To that promise that you've been praying and working towards. Every day you wake knowing that there's a miraculous miracle awaiting for you daily. In the name of Jesus, I, re I, I rebuke and bind any di diabolical lie 
or strategy or anything from the enemy. I really bind it in the name of Jesus and any forces of darkness that are coming to try to hinder your promises or hinder the relationships that God has for you. I rebuke and bind it in the name of Jesus. So wake with zeal, wake with expectancy to know that every day you're closer. Even that day that you wake up and you're probably sad and crying, that could be the day that you receive healing. That could be the day that that promise, that could be that million dollar opportunity or resource that'll happen. God is a sudden God. And the reason why at times people don't understand how it's suddenly, but it's because every day we're working towards our purpose. We're working in our purpose. And every day we're working towards that goal, that promise, that hand of favor that just comes in, that relationship that just comes and thrives your business or thrives your relationship or heals, helps heal your marriage. So in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your time invested. I pray that my prophetic word by the blood of Jesus marinates in your spirit, in your soul, in your heart, in your mind, in your mouth, that you speak the promises of God, that you wake expecting miraculous favor from God and that you go out in the world and be that miraculous favor to other people. In the name of Jesus, we are blessed to bless others. When we bless, we are too are blessed. When you refresh others, you too are refreshed. So in the name of Jesus, thank you. If you can't find these are from scriptures, Ecclesiastics 2, 18 and Deuteronomy 3, 3, 33, 27. And today God is with you and God is at work. So go out there and be the hope and be the love and be the mercy and the grace. All good things come from God. God things. God things. In Jesus' name, be blessed. Thank you for your time invested. Feel free to share this video. Please do. I love you, but not nowhere near what God loves you. And remember, declare the promises of God every day of your life. Align yourself with his word and take delight in him. And he will give you and bring to pass that you will experience all the desires of your heart. In Jesus' name, be blessed. Love you lots. If you have any um, prayer requests, please send them to the Esme Mandel at Gmail. And today I am wearing the Eve Lash, Mother of All Creation. And this is from Lord and Esme Beauty Holy Last Collection. Thank you so much for your orders. I'm excited for all the orders that I've received. In the name of Jesus, may y'all be blessed. Bye.